Hi, I'm Dara McNamara and I'm a software developer. We're here at home in Limerick. It's one of my favourite places to work and it's great being close to family. What I like about the technology business is um, every day starts with a, a challenge. So you're kind of coming downstairs with a, a new idea um, to try and solve whatever problem you're working on. So, you know, when I am stuck on a problem then, I like to go for perhaps a cup of coffee um, and maybe even take my mind off the problem for a while and see if something will, will percolate up from, from uh, the subconscious to, to help me solve that problem. I always got a kick and I still get a kick out of getting uh, microprocessors up and running and getting them to, to do their thing. I, I tend to work in two locations. I work here at home on some projects and I have an office out in Shannon. More and more I manage software projects and in the area of chip bring up. So I, I think a typical project for Andala would be something like the International Space Station mission that we did in 2022. Uh, Dennis Wingo and Skycorp were putting together an experiment that was running outside the International Space Station. They needed a pretty complex chip, so they chose the microchip Polar Fire um, SOC to underpin their mission. When you do a space mission, there's often sufficient radiation bombardment of the chip. You usually take measures to scrub your memories to um, ensure that your single bit errors stay as single bit errors and don't accumulate. So we added keep alive messages to the polar fire, which enabled Skycorp to detect if there was any problem with any of the subsystems in the experiment. You know, even though we played a very you know, minor role in the, um, the life of the International Space Station. For us, it was um, an incredibly um, uplifting experience, and I gained a detailed knowledge of what that actually means in practice um, when you are writing software for space. Mm -hmm.